Hello and welcome to another Unity tutorial. Today we will have a look at how we can read a JSON file. We will use the data from a real-time web service and build this little application that can check the location of any IP address. Sounds interesting? Let's get started. We will use this web service geoplugin.net and if we call it with the parameter 444, it will return the country United States. Now let's try with my IP address. Let's paste it in and hit return. Here we go. The country name is now Denmark and the continent name is now Europe. So everything is fine and this will be the JSON we will use for the application. To read a JSON file, we need a JSON parser. And luckily, Henrik Paulsen from Sweden has made a really cool one called Simple JSON. It's completely free and you can download it from GitHub. Just follow the link in the description, click clone or download and save. And we are now ready to begin our JSON journey. In Unity, I have made four game objects. First an input text field, then a button, and then two text fields called country and continent, and we will show the result here. Now let's make the script. Right click, create, select C sharp script, and let's call the new script for load JSON. Double click on the script to start Visual Studio. In our new script, we need to import two new classes. The first one is the simple JSON using simple JSON. And the next one is the unity.networking. So using unity engine.networking. I have used the TextMess Pro text fields, so we have to import the TM Pro class as well. So using TM Pro, we will not use the default functions. So let's delete these and write a new function called public void and get JSON data. And for now, we will just print to the console get JSON data. Let's just make a quick copy and paste. We also need three public variables, one for each text field. And I'm using TextMess Pro, so it will be something like TMP underscore input field, and we'll call that for input text, and then TMP country text, which would be the first output text. And the last one is TMP text continent text. That's it, let's go and test in Unity. We need to attach the script to a game object. So let's create a new game object. Right click and select create empty and let's rename that to main. Drag our new script to the main game object. And now we can see our global variables. Drag the input text field to the input text variable and the country text field to the country text and the continent text field to the continent text. Now click on the button. We have to connect to the main script. So drag the main game object down to the on click selector. And we can now select load JSON and get JSON data. Let's have a test run and it works perfect. We can see we get our get JSON data in the console window. So everything is fine. Okay, so our print get JSON data worked fine. So we know our script is working. Now let's call the JSON data online. And we do that by creating a start coroutine. We will call the start coroutine for request web service. Our coroutine will be a I enumerator. So let's write I enumerator request web service. And we can copy that from the function above. Okay, and we need some brackets, here we go. Okay, now we need some string for the data URL. So let's write string get data URL and then equals and then the path to the web service. Let's just copy that from the website. And as a parameter, we can use the input from the input text field. And it's a good idea to debug this uh, data URL. We just do that by print data URL. Now we have to decide what we should do when we actually receive the data. And we do this by this line using Unity web request web data equals 
unitywebquest.getDataURL. And inside these brackets, we will handle the web data. First of all, we will grab the web data in our web data object. And we do that by this line yield return web data dot send web request. We now have our web data and we need to check it for errors. So if web data dot is network error or web data dot is HTTP error, then print error. And we can make a nice, a nice print error, something like this. And we should also print the error itself. And it goes like this, print with data dot error. And now it's time to handle the actual data. We do that by this line. If with data is done, and now it's time to use our JSON parser. Remember the script we downloaded from GitHub. So JSON node, JSON data equals JSON parse. And inside the JSON parse, we have to write the data and it's a little long. It goes like this system.text.encoding.utf8.getString webdata.downloadhandler.data. And again, we have to test if the data is okay. And we do that by the line if JSON data equals null and then print no data. If the JSON data is valid, then we should print something like just JSON data and then the JSON data count. And the JSON data count is how many objects are there in the JSON data. So let's write print JSON data count. And let's do a little bit housekeeping, make the script look nice. And whoop, there was also a typo there. And let's have a look in Unity. Let's type a random IP number, four times four, and the script will output JSON data count 17. Now let's extract the country name. We will write country text dot text equal JSON data, and we can write a number here, let's say four. But in this case, it's better to write the variable name, and that is geo plugin underscore country name. Same thing for the continent name, geo plugin underscore continent name. Okay, let's test in Unity with a random IP and we get the United States and my IP address is in Denmark. Four times four is in US and uh, this one is in Japan and everything works fine. That was it for today, guys. You will find a link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and see you tomorrow for another Unity tutorial. Have fun.